Hello everyone, on this video, I'm going to show you the new Master Strip plugin suite that you can find in the latest Cubase's update. With the Master Strip, you can create your own masters and polish your tracks to perfection before you share them with the world, right there on your iPhone or iPad, and now also on Android phones and tablets. The Master Strip plugin suite consists of a really powerful multiband compressor to add punch, sheen, and glue to your tracks, a multiband stereo imager that allows you to add width and extra depth to your music, and last but not least, the loudness maximizer that will give your track this extra volume oomph and in your face sound. So let's take a look and listen to it in action. So I don't know about you guys, but for me, mixing and mastering is a very creative part of the process of producing music. And actually I can't wait to get to the mixing and mastering stage. Now with Cubase, we have a comprehensive mastering suite. Let me show you with this example, with this track, this is completely unmastered, so let's play it. And now let's say that we want to master this track, give it a little bit more punch, a little bit more level, width, all those beautiful things. Now, before you get to the mastering stage, I would always recommend that you check your gain staging and make sure that your tracks are filtered correctly. For example, very quickly, I'm going to show you on this guitar track that we have here, I have added the channel strip and I have a low cut filter at around 150 hertz because I don't need the low end for this guitar. Same with everything else apart from the drums, the bass, all the instruments that have low end energy that's important. This way you will get a cleaner master and the master strip plugin will work even better. So let's open the mixer. I like working on the mixer and I like to have my meters in Excel mode. And I'm going to go to my master inserts and I'm going to go to my stereo out. Hit the E button and now we can add our master strip plugin. It's going to be on internal effects and master strip. And here we go. This is the Master Strip plugin in all its glory. And of course, I can resize it if I want to, depending on what I want to do, if I want to have more of my project visible, or if I want to focus on mastering. When I'm mastering, I prefer to expand the Master Strip. So let me give you a quick tour of the interface. With the Master Strip plugin, we have three separate modules. We have the multiband compressor right here. This allows us to compress the audio in three frequency bands. Then we have the stereo imager. Again, it allows us to expand or narrow the stereo image in three bands. And then we have the loudness maximizer that will allow us to get extra volume and make our track loud. And also it will allow us to get an in your face sound. So let's start with the multiband compressor and let's play the music through it. And you can tell that immediately once I've loaded the master strip, it already improves the sound of my track. Now, if you click on the list browse button, you can also find quite a few presets. I like to start with a default preset, but I would encourage you to go through the presets because they're designed to work very well on specific genres of music. And of course, then you can tweak it and customize it to your song. Now I'm going to go with the default one, and I'm going to start with a completely clean slate so that we can create our master ourselves. So I'm going to go default and I'm going to turn off the imager and the loudness maximizer for now. So let's start with the multiband compressor. I'm going to turn the threshold all the way up so that it doesn't start working straight away. And now let's see what sound we can achieve. Let's say I want to make this song a little bit more punchy, get a little bit more loudness, give it a little bit of sheen the multiband compressor will give you that sound very, very easily. So let's see. Let's work on the low end at first. See, the lower I get the threshold down, I get compression just for the low end. And if I want to, I can adjust the frequency range. So maybe I want my low end to extend up to 130 hertz. I can set it up the way I want to. Let's move on to the mid range and the high end. So 
So let's listen with and without. Now I'm compressing a little bit for every band. See, immediately I get a punchy bass, I get a focus mid-range, and the top end is crisp and clear, and the whole track sounds like it's, it sounds like a record basically, all of a sudden, just by using the multiband compressor. Now on top of that, I can adjust the bands separately, so I can add a little bit of level, a little bit of boost for every band. So let's try that. A little bit of bass. And depending on how you set the threshold and ratio, you can get a really aggressive pumping compression, or you can have slightly touching the meters right there for a more gentle sound. And this can be like your typical master bus compression sound, or you can completely change the tonal qualities of your master. So it's very versatile, you can get many, many different sounds out of the multiband compressor. So let's check what we've done up to this point with and without the multiband compressor. And it goes without saying that if you want to level match, it's very easy. You can go to output and reduce the level so that you can tell what effect the multiband compressor has on your sound and you don't get tricked by the increase of level. Let's try that. Yeah, so I think I'm very happy with this. Now let's move on to the stereo imager and let's make this track a little bit wider, give it more depth. So I'm going to click on the stereo imager and I'm going to activate it. And right now, everything is at 12 o'clock. That means that the stereo imager doesn't do anything to the sound. And now the first thing I want to do is expand the width of the mid range a little bit and maybe the high end as well. Let's try this. And maybe I want to narrow my low end so it's more compact and it's completely mono. This is a very, very common trick when you're mastering. So let's do that. Now, in some cases, you will find that even the low end has stereo information. In this specific case, my bass is very wide, it's stereo, so maybe I want to retain that width and maybe I want to, you know, just extend my mid-range a little bit to go down to 100 hertz. I'm gonna play by ear, let's, let's listen to this. Let's try some width. And then the other thing that you can also do is you can pan the bands, the frequency bands left and right as well. Now on mastering, I would be very careful with something like this, but don't forget that the master strip is also available for every single channel. So if you want to make a pad sound very interesting and very wide, you can also use the master strip with a stereo imager to create some really interesting stereo effects. I'm gonna try a few things so that you can hear the sound. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. 
So it's it's very interesting. Imagine you can have like a pad sound or a piano sound and you can pan just the mid range and the top end. You can pan it in a different position and expand them and narrow them. You can create some really, really interesting sounds like this. Now, if you go a little bit crazy, don't forget that you can always double tap on the controls to set them to the center position. So let's see what we have up to this point with the multiband compressor and the stereo imager. So the stereo imager gives the track quite a bit of depth. I really like it. Let's see how the whole track sounds without the master strip. Right, and now for the final touch. Let's go to the last module, the loudness maximizer. And here is where you can add the loudness and volume to your track. Now there are quite a few things here. We have two types. We have the classic and modern. Now I would say that the classic type is better suited for acoustic material, classical music, things that need to be transparent. And the modern type is for more contemporary music when you want to get things really, really loud. And depending on what style of music you're going to master, you're pretty much covered. And we also have a soft clip. Soft clip introduces clipping to your sound when you're limiting, and this will add some nice harmonics. It sounds a little bit like tube saturation, so you can get an even more pleasing, louder sound when you want to go very loud with your masters. So let's try this. I think for this track, I'm going to choose the modern algorithm and let's try and give it a little bit of oomph and volume. So let's turn it on and I'm going to use the optimized knob to add more of the maximizer effect. Now, if you're wearing headphones, please be careful because this is going to get loud. Okay, let's do it. Let's add the soft clip. And you can really get stuff pretty loud with a loudness maximizer. So please use it with caution. You can go into loudness worst territories if you want to. And the soft clip along with the modern type algorithm really helps with that. So let's listen what we have up to this point with and without the master strip altogether. So there you go. Now you can do mastering on your iPad inside Cubase's 3 with the new Master Strip plugin suite. And don't forget, everything I showed you today with the Master Strip is available on the iPad and iPhone, but also on Android devices like phones and tablets. As you can see right here, I'm holding an Android tablet and it looks exactly the same. And it goes without saying that these operating systems are fully compatible. You can exchange projects with each other. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope you have loads of fun with the Master Strip plugin suite. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.